Hello, this is Sarah McLeod, the host of Proven Cures, and I want to share with you right now a clinically proven treatment that can be bought over the counter without having to go see a doctor, without having to feel the shame of being looked at funny, without having, if you're not feeling well enough to, to even leave out the house, you can keep it in your medicine cabinet. And as soon as you get an outbreak, you can boom, just take care of it right then and there. It's a treatment for herpes zoster outbreaks. And the treatment is something that you've probably already heard of, especially if you uh, suffer from acid indigestion or acid reflux. The brand name for it is Tagamet, um, and the generic name is Cymetidine. That is spelled C-I-M-E-T-I-D-I-N-E, and is usually sold in tablets of 200 milligrams each. And the study shows that you can take for five days as soon as you get a breakout is the best time to take it because that's the time that it's able best to suppress those viral receptors so you would take 200 milligrams one pill with breakfast one pill again with lunch one pill again with dinner and two at bedtime so that's an equal that's an equivalent of 1000 milligrams per day for five days and that will actually cure the symptoms, take away the, the pain and the itchiness and the misery of a herpes zoster outbreak. Now, the study, I'm going to put on my glasses. I didn't want to wear my glasses because I stepped on my glasses and they're twisted and I don't want you people to laugh at me. But I need the glasses in order to read to you the actual name of the study. So just bear with me one second, please. Okay. Now, the study was conducted in Poland, so it is essentially a Polish study. Um, the name of the journal is in Polish, and my first language is English, so it might not <laughs> sound so good. So forgive me if you speak Polish, don't, you know, don't laugh at me. The name of the journal is called Polski Tygodnik Lekarski. Okay, I think I, I didn't do so bad there. Um, and the authors, the scientists of the study, the primary authors and um, publicists and probably the PIs of the study, their names are M, that's the first initial, Kapinska dash, I'm going to just spell the last, because I can't pronounce it. The last name is spelled M-R-O-W-I-E-C-K-A. Maybe that's Murray. I don't know. I'm not going to butcher it. And the second author's name is G. Tarowski. And the title of the study itself, so you can do your own research. You can see I'm not making this up. The title of the study is Efficacy of Cymetidine in Treatment of Herpes Zoster in the First Five Days from the Moment of Disease Manifestation. The journal is actually available with uh, the National Institutes of Health in their National uh, Library of Medicine. And the website for the NLM, the National Library of Medicine, is of course www.ncbi.nlm for National Library of Medicine, dot NIH for National Institutes of Health, dot gov, G-O-V. Okay, so um, with this study specifically, a sample population of 221 people who were previously diagnosed with herpes zoster were asked to come in as soon as they had an outbreak and um, participate in the uh, initiative to see the effectiveness of cymetidine in actually curing uh, the symptoms of the herpes outbreak without... Um, having to take necessarily what is quote unquote considered antiviral medications, which at the time of the study being conducted were very, very expensive. And also it can be prohibitive if you don't have health insurance or it's difficult for you to get away from work and, you know, to get to a doctor or you just don't feel well, or maybe you're in an environment where you don't want people to know that you're not doing well. You know, there's lots of reasons. So, um, yeah, so uh, once again with the dosage, the dosage that was used was 200 milligrams with breakfast, 200 milligrams with lunch, 200 milligrams with dinner, 
and 400 milligrams right before bed for an equivalent of 1,000 milligrams per day for five days to treat a herpes zoster outbreak. Also, um, I always say if you don't feel comfortable with something to discuss it with a physician, take the study to a physician. That's never an issue. That's never a problem. Um, also, if you feel like, well, that's traditionally a medication used to treat acid reflux and I don't have that problem, so I don't feel comfortable, something you can do also is put acid on your stomach with a cola, something bubbly when you take it. And that way it can do double duty without causing any harm to your stomach lining. Okay, I hope this you found this helpful and informative and you have a good day and subscribe. Subscribe to Proven Cures because I'm going to be coming with a lot of interesting information for my viewers. Bye.